Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be teaching you how to color grade unwhite balance footage using Final Cut. So you don't have to download or purchase any other softwares. It's a basic tutorial on how to color grade. Alright, let's start. As you can see here, there are three example clips, each having different types of messed up exposures or white balance. So, here's what you're going to do. To start, as you see I have a new menu right here. How you can open that, you can click window, go to workspaces, and click color effects. That will open up this little window right here. It will be completely full, you won't have your basic stuff, your basic clip edits right here. It'll just be this menu, but that's all you need to color grade. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your effects tab and grab color board, or you can click this little icon right here. This will automatically open the color board for you to edit. So I, as you can see, I have three clips, one being blue, one being orange, and one being overexposed. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust all of these clips so that they look like regular skin tone, regular colors. It's just going to be normal. So let's start with our first clip, our uh, how to use 80 slang. So as you can see here, we have two clips, each in different exposures. As you can see, with the RGB parades and our Luma, the blue is very prominent and same with the greens. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust to almost lull these to make everything look skin tone and skin color. So what you do is you click select your clip, you click your color board, and you go to color. Once you're at color, you can actually start adjusting the colors of the clip. So if I do this, look at that. With just a few minor adjustments, you can already see that we basically have normal skin color. Compare that to the original clip, which is on the right, it's very blue. As you can see on the right, I have it selected. This is what your uncustomized color palettes would look like, your color LUTs. You have your masters, shadows, midtones, and your highlights. They're all labeled and on the icons. So as you see, this is the unedited, this is the edited cut. As you see, we're losing the blue, we just have regular skin and normal tones. So now let's try the Bob Ross one. As you can see, look at the Luma RGB Parade, your green and your orange are very prominent. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit said footage until we find that perfect skin color, skin color tone that we are looking for. Dropping the oranges. And this is all you need to do. You don't need to do anything else. You can also adjust your saturation to lower colors, but that's pretty much it. You don't need to do anything else than that. It's this simple. You just need to adjust your highlights, midtone, sh shadows, and master until it's perfect. I've talked to Cogswell. You can do this, and he won't subtract your grade too much because you're actually putting effort and work into your footage. So as you can see, it's dark in certain spots where we turn up our exposure a little bit to match. So then look, before and after. As you can see, the darks are coming out a little bit more, but you're losing that orange and you're getting that skin color look back. So now let's take a look at this clip that I shot with a couple of friends. As you can see, on the right, his face is extremely washed out due to exposure. So what I did is I went to my exposure and adjusted the clip. So then you can still pick up enough detail in his face that it's not overwashed out. You can get pick up small little details you weren't you couldn't see from the original. What the hell did I do? So you may be asking, why do you need to do this? Well, to help you understand that white ba white balancing with the camera forgetting how to do it does make a difference in your video it makes your video look crappy and doesn't look as good so by color grading you're fixing your video you're making it look better you're making it look sharp that's all you need to do
I'm Mr. Cogswell, so please tell me, um, do you approve of this tutorial? Uh, yes, teaching the students new video production skills is definitely valuable. Alright, um, will you allow students to use this tutorial in their videos? To use the tutorial in the videos. Okay, so you're teaching students how to uh, try to correct uh, white balance that wasn't corrected in camera during filming, correct? Yeah. As if, like, they forgot, or they just didn't bother to do it. I mean, uh, I have to be able to catch it, so if it looks so good that I can't tell that you doctored it, then, you know, it'll work. But uh, the idea of my assignments is getting you to be able to white balance using the camera and using the uh, manual settings within the camera, so um, by going around that and doing it in the computer, you don't really get to exercise those skills, nor do I get to see that you know how to do that. So, uh, ideally, you're uh, setting white balance in the camera and not in post-production, uh, because even if you do do it in post-production, it won't look as good as it is if done um, while filming. So, yeah, that's your question. Yeah, thank All right. you. Cool, no problem. All right, so what did we learn? We learned that you can use this tutorial, but you have to be very careful on how you do it and make sure your color grading is good. Still, it's a good skill to learn, but you also want to do it when, if you forget white balancing and if you want to fix your clip as well. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.